In the previous lecture, we have seen how to override Django's default template. Now, in this lecture, we'll see how to analyze any project or requirement of the project. You might have doubt uh, that uh, if uh, Django provides registration form already, this uh, this this will be the registration form, just like test and uh, password is test test something like that. Say oh. Django already provides this facility, so why should we need this student registration form? We'll see afterwards, but uh, yes, we need this. And after that, add book. Uh, there will be one model which we, uh, in which we should add our book, and uh, that means uh, if uh, some stock is arriving in the library, some new stock uh, arriving in the library, so. We have to add this. We have to add the book. So add book will be there and borrow book. The book which is borrowed by the students, uh, there will be one model of borrow book. So that uh, we have the track record. So we can generate the reports and backups as well. So just be with me. Go with the flow. We'll see in detail. We'll see the fields. We'll see the roles. We'll see the rights and all the stuffs. So. This is the admin models. Just uh, remind you, this is the one way you can decide your own project flow. You can decide the library flow by your own. But this is just one example, so that you can analyze that uh, how to proceed in any project further. So just uh, next roles of super user. What is who is super user is our admin. So admin can add new librarian if librarian uh, left the job or uh, new librarian come. So admin can change the librarian means add new librarian, edit librarian and admin can generate backup. What is this backup? Uh, you can say that uh, whatever the uh, reports or whatever the monthly backups which uh, want which we want that can uh, generated by admin let me make you some simpler like that uh, if uh, the 100 books is borrowed or uh, add in the library so we can have a backup that if our system is crashed or something I means unexpected happened so we have the backup of it so that we can move it to the another system. So this is called backup, uh, just like simple. And after that, roles of librarian. Who is librarian? Is a means employee of library, means of that library who can manage students. What's this? The if new student add to the college or uh, library means new member of the new member of the college or library so that uh, means librarian can add the students librarian can update delete books that's like manage books librarian can search the books so that uh, he can provide it to the students or uh, he can uh, he or she can see the stock is available or not so he can search it over here he can manage the borrowers if uh, I borrow two books from the library so he can he or she can enter in the borrowers list and if i return the books so that uh, he can he or she can means delete from that so this is how manage borrowers generate reports uh, this is what that uh, how much books returned last month how much books uh, returned last month or this month how much books borrowed last month or this month this will generate a report of this report of the whole statistics and uh, after that backup backup that we have seen in the previous one this backup and after that approve or reject book request user can request for the borrow a book for borrow a book and uh, librarian approve or reject the book request this is a standard practice to list it down the roles of the library and after that, roles of the students. Right. So, students can 
see profile details that means the student can see his uh, enrollment number and uh, his uh, name as well so okay i just you know know his name <laughs> this is just took so part but uh, student can see book detail sorry book list search books if a student uh, heard a uh, name of the book from his colleague sorry from his benchmate or uh, from professor so he can search books that uh, the book is available or not the book is in the library or not so search book facility we can give us give them and borrow list uh, how much books student has borrowed from the library 1 2 or any of the numbers so he can see the borrows list from his account or from his id request for a book student can request a book uh, to borrow uh, from the id itself and see the updation of the request that means it is approved or rejected or still pending so this is the rules of the students reminding you that this is the one flow or one thought of the project so you can decide on your own but this is just an overview that uh, this is how you can decide the or analyze the flow of your project so if i want to manage students that means we'll see that uh, this whole part that means we'll see all of this and uh, now we'll see the fields that means manage students should uh, have the some fields manage books have some fields search books have some fields so let's go to this and uh, okay fine so manage students how we can manage students first we need to register our students so students has to be registered first so when registration form you can means check out your own fields whatever data you want from the students uh, i have mentioned enrollment number the batch that means uh, 2016 batch 2015 batch means which ba which uh, batch or uh, from uh, which uh, you can say that from which year he has the member of the library and from uh, which batch uh, he is from the college contact number of the student name of the student department that means computer department mechanical department electrical department or bcom bca whatever the department is of the student so he can he or she can specify over here then email of the student then image if you want to put the image of the student it it's fine if you want means if you don't it's fine so i am putting the image of the student so that the student can be identified easily and last but not least password password is mandatory and by enrollment number and password student is allowing to log in to the id because enrollment number is always unique and password the set by the user so after that student list the registered students will be displayed in the student list so we don't need any extra model but we need we need to just show the details of the students so this is student list and update student info to change the contact number or password or uh, email address or image uh, we can go through this so this is how librarian can manage the students after that manage books how to manage books first we need to check the form book form so in the book isbn number is uh, some might know about it some might not but uh, isbn number is the number of the book i don't know the full form actually but you can google it out but isbn number is the identification of the book so by isbn number you can identify the book then author name bookshelf number that means uh, if i have a big I, if i have a huge library then uh, i can specify the bookshelf number book title edition that means uh, first edition second third and so on row number column number with that means if i have a big shell then uh, in which column and and in which row i have i want to place this book so that i can very means i can easily fetch the book when uh, any student or any person wants to borrow it so this is how we 
mentioned it and then book list uh, this uh, details of the book will keep it in the book list and uh, if i want to update or delete any book i can after that book request so we need to fetch all the requests so that i put it over here this is fine and after that manage borrower borrower is a student but uh, is a student or any person but we need to borrow book means we need to specify the fields just like enrollment number then batch isbn number password name of the student department of the student email and image fine so there is a slight different in the student and uh, not uh, much difference but uh, borrow book so borrowers list mean that means the students list and then return book so this is how you can specify your models and your you can say that uh, your punctuality and uh, you can say that your uh, uh, you know models and uh, all the stuffs you can specify it and after that book request whenever any student request a book he need to specify book title author name and edition that uh, this book and uh, this author and this edition i want to borrow so book request is one more we can say that a form of user and after that we can uh, make it a uh, you know search of the book search by name search by name or search by isbn number this is enough for uh, means as of now we can search it by name or isbn number fine after uh, we need uh, to generate report this is uh, what uh, important for the librarian or admin to see the progress or growth or uh, statistic reports of the uh, you know uh, book borrowing and book means adding books and borrowing the books the ratios of the students and the librarian or something like that i hope you can understand so search by department or isbn number or transaction history that means uh, transaction history means we can say that uh, uh, how much students borrowed this particular book or uh, this uh, particular author or this particular you can say that uh, particular edition so we can search it by the transaction history after the searched books we need uh, we can generate report according to the search you know we should be able to generate the reports according to the search and after that generate backup as well so backup is really very much important whenever you create any project just make sure you have uh, multiple backups of that project because uh, if you are if you are working on a particular project there might some error and uh, if uh, you are not able to solve the error you can move to the errorless file means errorless backup of your file so generate backup is very much important in every aspects of the software development so this is what generate report is and fine what we have learned how to decide the flow of the project so what is the project flow how to decide the flow of the project after that analyzation of the models and forms of the project analyzation of models forms of the project after that detailing of the fields as per the models and forms detailing that means every form has the fields every model has the fields so how to analyze the fields uh, you can decide it by your own but this is a brief introduction and we have seen example one example i have given you for the reference of the library so you know you can uh, create your own project uh, but first of all any project needs to be analyzed first so you need to be analyze your project and note it down and after start the development of any project why i put this section in the middle of the course because whenever you got the idea you'll start the development so never ever do this mistake never ever and uh, first decide the planning 
after the planning has been done you should execute in the direction and if you got stuck then don't worry about it just let us know or any help you want you can take from the google youtube or any website there are so many sources available stack overflow or django documentation and so many things there is available means available there so this is it for the section and uh, if you have any doubt let us know otherwise keep going we have seen how to analyze any project or requirement of the project in next lecture we'll see create view how to create create view using django's class based view